What is Leadership 3.0? I talked about how many entrepreneurs, myself included, thought, okay, now I am a leader, now I must mimic those war generals or the stone-faced marble statues we see. Yeah. And you know, I don't think that works in today's age. I think leaders need to be much more agile. Um, I tell stories of how effective leaders have actually promoted failure in their organizations mm -hmm. because I think people give lip service to that, but Employees are often terrified that if they fail, they're out. So I think there's ways to encourage that type of constant innovation. Leaders today have to be much more accessible. Studies have shown that employees feel so much better about their leader when they're on social media, when they're not sitting on high and issuing instructions, but when there's a constant open dialogue. And then the one that I learned the hard way is that being vulnerable is actually a strength, not a weakness. And as a female leader, I didn't believe that. I didn't know. And it was only after I went through personal challenges. Um, my husband had bone cancer uh, six years ago. And going through that process, I had to open up. I had to let the walls down. And my team came to me and said that before I had been you know, superhuman, and it was unrelatable. Mm. And that once I allowed myself to show my more vulnerable side, they still admired my passion and strategy, but they felt more comfortable mm. you know, following me as a person. And so I've now come to believe that instead of aiming to be superhuman, leaders need to be less super and more human.